a whole lot of people that you meet. I mean, it's not just from New South Wales, it's from all over Australia and even South Africa and New Zealand. It's an amazing experience, meeting all the people from across Australia. The things we get involved in, like the lab visits and personal building sessions, it's all been great. But what will this forum do for you? Firstly, you are meeting with 143 others of similar age, education, ideals and enthusiasm and be led by others, the staff, who have just been through the same experiences that you are soon to enjoy. That in itself will be a life-changing experience for you all. You will go away from NYSF with an intense desire to learn, to explore and to study as much as you can to find the best answers. Never forget the fact that you as an individual can make a difference if you try. And only with young leaders like you, willing to combine your technical skills with determination and compassion, will we be able to overcome the daunting challenges that our nation shares with the rest of the world. My favourite part of the NYSF has been getting access to facilities you wouldn't normally gain access to and having a look at the behind the scenes of crews that we might be interested in. All the lab visits have been great. The best visit was uh, visiting the ANU chemistry wing. That was fantastic. Best bit, making ice cream out of liquid nitrogen. The university, I think, will be uh, pharmacy for me. I think that's where I feel more comfortable with my chemistry. But who knows, there's been so many opportunities open here, like wine making, you never considered that one. The decisions you make now doesn't mean you're going to be locked in that career for the rest of your life. When you see a bear patch and you see some dead trees and you see a big change in the grass and how it's growing on the side of the hill, um, you're starting to get so right up, this could be salt, this could be salt. Find what you love, find what you have a passion for and you'll be really, really good at it. You'll love putting in the time and you'll really get far. I've kind of been losing my voice over the last couple of weeks, mainly the whole chanting and singing that's going on. Dressing up, no one really cared what everyone else was dressing up as. It was all pretty crazy. <laughs> Probably the bush dance. That was lots of fun. Our country needs good, rigorous, and passionate scientists. We need excellent science students to become scientists researchers, science teachers and the many other
careers available with Science Flavor Now. We are going to get rid of the coal industry. The coal industry is a massive part of Australian economy. But also, if you think about it, we are planning to put all these on the east coast of Australia. Infrastructure dams, spillways, uh, water supply schemes, irrigation schemes, um, both in Australia, but a lot of offshore work in uh, about a dozen or so countries. From an environmental point of view, we don't want to release water into the river that's too cold. But I can assure you there are few, if any, programs like this anywhere on earth that offer the sort of level of opportunity that you have to think about what you might want to do from a more informed basis. So to go and experience various aspects of science, hear from different people, go into the field even, and think about what you might want to do with your future. One of the best things about astronomy is that you never run out of things to do. We're never going to get to the point where some astronomer is going to send out an email to all the other astronomers and say, I figured, out, I figured it out, whatever it is, and we're done, we can pack up, we understand the universe, we're finished. Um, we are never going to understand the universe, at least not in my lifetime or yours. And there'll always be, for every great discovery and for every long-standing problem or mystery that's finally solved, that will just create another hundred mysteries for the next generation. Activities has to be in the mechatronics area where you get to play with robots and the professors, they help you around and it's extremely fun. For me this was really where my journey into science really did start. And I, I guess as I've sort of been saying to a few people tonight, it's sort of like coming full circle for me. Most importantly, you've given us the opportunity to spend two weeks in an environment that nurtures our unique personalities and our unanimous passion for science. In the much bigger picture, this is the start of a really big adventure.